When it comes to coffee equipment, everyone knows the star of the show is the espresso machine. I mean, shiny panels, flashing lights, inbuilt steam machine. But who is really holding down the fort? Who is making that coffee taste so good day in, day out? That's right, I'm talking about the espresso grinder, the smooth operator. Let's today show it some love and I'm gonna show you how to quickly dial in the grinder for your morning coffee. G'day, my name's Josh and I'm here at the Coffee Science and Education Centre. We look at equipment reviews, barista skills, and the science that ties all these things together. If you want to know more about coffee and what's happening in the coffee industry, hit subscribe, stay in the know, and we'll keep you up to date. One of the skills that students really struggle with when they come to our training classes is how do I dial in my espresso grinder first thing in the morning? If my coffee is too coarse or too fine, or I'm using the incorrect dose, it can really change the end result of flavor that you want in your cup. So number one, we're going to first affect how much coffee is inside your group handle. A lot of group handles actually come with a number on the side of the basket, which will denote how many grams that basket will hold. So you can grab your kitchen scales or your coffee scales, and then measure out the amount of coffee that you need and just spoon off what you don't. Basically, get the same amount that your basket will hold and put that in there. For this example, we're using 21 grams. So now that you have your coffee in the group handle, you wanna make sure it's evenly distributed and you wanna tamp it. Lock it up into the machine and press the button. Now some machines come with a timer. From the press the button to the end of the extraction, they will time that shot. If your machine doesn't have a timer, you can just use your phone. From the moment you press that button to the end of that shot where the pump shuts off, you want to find out how long did it take for that water to move through that bed of coffee. For this example, we're aiming for 28 to 32 seconds. Okay, now that you know how long it took for water to move through that bed of coffee, we want to find out what did it actually do. If your shot took too long, as in it blew right past 32 seconds and went for like a minute, sometimes water doesn't even come out, your coffee is too fine. Go coarser on your grinder, and then this will speed up your shot and therefore the water will start flowing. But maybe your grinder did the opposite, where it actually went too fast and it gushed out. You got blonding, you got a waterfall, it was just a mess. Well, the first thing you need to do is go finer on your grinder. This will slow down your shot and extend the shot out until you can get that target time. You need to think of it like this. Basically, too coarse is like golf balls. Too fine is like sand. As the water moves through, if there are big gaps between those golf balls, basically the water will shoot through and your coffee is too coarse and it will gush out into your espresso. But if your coffee is too fine, it is more like beach sand. The water trickles through every particle and comes out drip by drip, super slow. So in this example, basically our target time is 28 through 32 seconds. And in this case, you can see our shot has run way too long. Basically, it is too fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the dial in towards course. I'm gonna make it more like golf balls. I want that shot to run faster. Once you make the adjustments, and I mean small adjustments, then grind through at least two shots worth of coffee. The reason we grind through those two shots of coffee is that this is the coffee that came behind your last shot, sitting between the blades that we need to get rid of. The new coffee comes through, ensure that your dose is the same and lock it up into the handle. Press the button and Again, measure how long it takes for that extraction to take place between pressing the button to the end of your shot. So now we're happy with our extraction and we're getting our target time. We need to go back to the grinder and ensure it's giving us the right amount of coffee every time without having to make those small manual adjustments. On our time-based grinder, we press the button and up the dose or decrease the dose as required to make sure that we're just getting our target benchmark. In this case, 21 grams. Another question that comes up is why can't I just set my espresso grinder and forget about it? So let's look at the three reasons why your espresso grinder doesn't play nice. First of all, your coffee aging. If you use a new coffee bag, basically as it ages, it lets off gas and that will change the flavor. So therefore you need to adjust your coffee grinder to compensate. Number two, as the grinder heats up and cools down, especially when you're doing a lot of coffee, Basically, this temperature will affect the grind size as the coffee gets crushed, shattered, and ground through the espresso grinder. And therefore, you guessed it, you need to adjust your grinder again to compensate for that heat fluctuation. And number three, 
Finally, every day, winter being better than summer, you're dealing with fluctuations of ambient temperature. Temperature and humidity will again affect the grind size as it moves to the espresso grinder. So again, throughout the day, you need to adjust your grinder to compensate for these changes in temperature. At the end of the day, it's all about taste. So use taste to critique your coffee and make the changes as necessary. Thanks for watching. That's how I dial in a grinder really quickly, first thing in the morning. See you guys next time.